is Sarah from So Cool Creation and today I'd like to show you how to create an imaginative Easter bonnet using Modrock plaster bandage. I've used the Modrock to create these three bonnets here and they're all available from a kit from my website online. You can create the chick kit and the sheet kit using tissue paper shred and the minion uses tissue paper and everything's available in the kit. And the Modrock shell, as you can see, fits neatly onto an Easter bonnet or hat and sits snugly there while you wear it proudly in your Easter bonnet parade. So let me show you how to use the Modrock. I would advise that you take the roll of Modrock and cut it into strips about four centimeters wide You'll need a bowl of hot water and you'll need a balloon <clears throat> and I've sat my balloon not end down in a bowl so that it doesn't move around so that I know how much to leave uncovered I've taken a plate about 19 centimeters across and a felt pen I sat the plate on top of the blue and I drew a circle around the top so that I know to leave this area uncovered. Right, let's get started. I'm going to take a strip of the plaster bandage, dip it in the hot water for about three seconds, then let it drip for three <clears throat> and this will help to activate it. Then I'm going to pop it, overlap it onto my previous strip by about a centimetre. I'm going to smooth it down flat. And then with my tip of my fingers, I'm going to use circular motion to fill in those holes. So I can't see the colour of the balloon coming through. Let's do another one. There we go. And I'm going to overlap it by about a centimetre. Smooth it down flat. And then fill in those holes. And the advantage of using Modrock rather than paper mache is that it's much quicker to do. I only need to cover the balloon in one layer of the plaster bandage instead of the three layers that I would need if I was doing paper mache. And that probably makes it less boring for your child. Um, I would cover the whole balloon even around the knot area as well and make sure there's, there's, um, it's completely covered. There aren't any, um, you can't see the, the balloon underneath. And you can, if you have any strips left over, you can do another layer around here to make it really strong. Then once it's completely covered, put it in a warm place to dry and it will probably take about nine hours to dry. So I recommend that you put it, that you leave it overnight and come back and check it the next morning. You'll know that it's dry because the balloon will start to shrink away from the cast and it will make a hollow sound when you tap on it. And be sure that it's absolutely dry before you pop the balloon. And then you can decide how you want to decorate it. You can paint it with acrylic paints or you can cover it in tissue paper or shredded tissue paper. And what you'll need to do that is some PVA glue and I recommend that you add a little bit of water to it so that it's so that you can brush it on. And I recommend that you do a section at a time. Take the brush and just brush an area on, on there and then add your tissue paper or your shred and work around the balloon until it's completely decorated. And I've used paper fasteners to fasten the, the head on and the wings and you can make other creatures if you want. You can even create a big Easter egg 
and make it into a pinata or a, a game for Easter Sunday. There's lots of things that you can do using the mod rock technique. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please email me at sarah at socallcreation.com. Thank you.